Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. What you looking at? I know you're not looking at me. Huh. You got to go on over there and get your plate before you be wearing it. You either want to eat your food or do you want to wear it? Because I can sure color up that little sorry outfit you got with some food, baby. So why don't you just get on about my face? Truck your little hungry butt on over there and put something in that belly because I don't want to look at you. And I certainly don't want you looking at me. Your problem, and that girl, you know what? She jealous of me. That's Nobody what's up. She jealous. Holiday. She knows it. Now look, baby. Jealous keep your voice down. Don't be Nobody to wants to hear these holidays. What are you talking Shh. about? What? Please. This is my mother's house. I can talk however I want to talk, and y'all are getting on my nerves. And why don't y'all just go? Well, nobody home? invited you. What do you mean nobody invited me? I know you talking out the corner of your neck. You better back up off of me now. Don't pay her no attention, Grandma. <sighs> oh, I tell you, girl, it's always somebody to mess up the holidays. I don't even want to hear That's it. That's why up. nobody wants to be around you. You notice you spend your holidays alone, don't you? What you looking at? Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. I know all the bellies are full. Everybody has finished pigging out, <laughs> glorifying that little belly button. Yum. You notice how laid back and relaxed. You see how relaxed I'm looking right now? Mm-hmm. If I sat here and didn't say a word and just got good and still, I could fall asleep just like that. You know how we get when we get a belly full of food, don't you? Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. Everything starts to shut down. And before you know it, you can almost hear the Z's coming through your ears before you even start snoring. <sighs> yeah, well, check this out. That's what happens when you're full. When you're full, y'all. You're full, you're satisfied, you ate well, you enjoyed every moment, and now you can barely keep one eye or two eyes open at the same time without one drifting off on you, without your head nodding and your eyes swimming, because you're chilled out, you're relaxed, you're satisfied, right? <clears throat> well... You notice how jittery and shaky you get when you're hungry? You waited too long to eat? Well, that's what happens when we wait too long between God's meals. When we wait too long for the Holy Spirit to fill us with that inner satisfaction, with that inner peace, we start to get shaky. Our fuse gets short, doesn't it? It sure does. Our attitude gets raunchy. Ugh. And we get downright ugly. Yes, we do. Well, all of that comes from not being satisfied, from staying too far away for too long a period of time, from being in God's presence, from being around God's people, from getting into God's word, from talking to him, listening to him, consulting with him. You must remember the nourishment you need on a daily basis in order to keep that sweet attitude, in order to maintain that peace. As they call it, maintaining my cool, baby. Yeah, maintaining my cool. Well, you can't maintain that cool if you're hungry, if you're weak, if you're shaky, yeah, you start to get real downright angry, don't you? You don't have patience with people, do you? You get snappy. You get grumpy. Yeah, people are looking at you like, what happened to Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde? I mean, what happened over here? Well, that's what happened. 
Your belly's empty. In essence, your spirit is empty. And you've been away from the Father too long. You've been out of that word and out of prayer too long. It's time to go to the gas pump. Get your stuff filled back up so you can get sweet again. Because, see, when you're full, like I am, <clears throat> belly is all happy and satisfied. Mwah, yes. Nothing much is going to bother you. They can be arguing over there. They can be fussing over there. And you'd be like, come on, y'all, chill out, chill out. We just had a nice meal. Chill out. Right. Can't mess with me. <laughs> I'm too satisfied. Think about how that works. Think about it. Are you satisfied in the spirit, man? Are you satisfied in your emotions? Are you satisfied in your life? Are you satisfied with your relationship with God? Hmm. All that affects how you respond to situations, problems, and people. Check yourself next time and see. Take that little litmus test, that proverbial litmus test. See how well or how poorly you do. When you're hungry and, and when you're full, check out the difference in your attitude. Yeah, that'll make you stay in God's presence more. Because even you don't like the ugly you, do you? I know I don't. I don't like the ugly me. So when I start getting funkadelic and I start getting short-circuited and short-winded and <clears throat> my patience gets short and I start getting snappy and, you know, what's wrong with this? And why does that blah, 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 blah. When I start getting like that and I start growling, I better get in God's presence because I'm too much of me. There's too much of me right here. I don't like me. I like the spirit of the living God moving in me. I'm a much nicer person when I'm filled with him and his love that I am when I'm full of me. Hmm. How about you? God bless you on this holiday season. And we're enjoying the snow, y'all. I'll have some videos for you later on. God bless.